Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at how to set up debugging uh, in Visual Studio Code for a CLI application. Uh, an example I've got here is the Astro Static or Website Generation Tool. Um, it's got a CLI for scaffolding out the file and also one for integrations and particularly to add Tailwind. So if you are maybe looking to contribute to a open source project, then you're gonna to need to be able to get a breakpoint on there and start stepping through the code. That's what we're going to try and do today. Uh, before we jump in, though, if you find yourself enjoying the video, feel free to click that subscribe below. You'll get updates for future videos. Okay, so we've come into GitHub here. Um, we can see Astro. We want to fork this so that any changes we do make, we can then create a pull request for. So we click on fork and create. Then once that's done, we can grab the URL and do a git clone here to get that down onto our PC. So we grab that. And now in here, I can go git clone and paste that in. Should come down pretty quick. So the Astro project uses pnpm, which is performance npm. So it should be pretty quick to install this for us as well. Uh, right, split that in. We'll just move into Astro. Um, we'll open up VS Code because you wouldn't necessarily know that it was um, pnpm. Um, and as we say, what we would be looking for in any of these projects is a readme or a contribute.md. So we look at the contribution here. It's got various information in terms of some requirements for Node uh, and that you need pnpm. Um, and you should always run pnpm install. So we'd start stepping through these, um, the details in this document to get things up and running. So we need to do a uh, pnpm install. And that should be pretty quick. All right, that's done. And if I then come back in here again, we'll see we can do a build, um, but for active development, it's talking down here of doing pnpm, uh, pnpm run dev. So we can just kick that off. And that should uh, launch the project for us. So with that in place, we can hopefully now attach to it. Um, to attach to it, we can use the VS Code JavaScript debugger terminal. So if I open up um, a console here, and if we look over here, we can choose JavaScript debug terminal. So I can have one of these, and I should be able to run the CLI um, JavaScript file in here. Now, this current directory is where we've cloned the actual project to, so we wouldn't want to run it in there as such. We would want to, um, let me open a new command prompt. We would want to create an Astro project that we can run this CLI against, so we want to do that somewhere else. Let's go, let's go off and create a folder, um, Astro test. Here, and we can create um, an Astro project. We can do an npm in it. So this will be dependent on whatever project you're doing. It's not really relevant. Uh, but we, we do need to have Astro here so that we can run the CLI against it. So we'll do an npm in it there. Uh, we'll just choose a minimal so it's quite quick. And then I can do an npm install in here. So this will set up. Uh, an Astro website for us. If this takes a couple of minutes, I'll speed it up. Hopefully it's quick. Uh, and now we'd be looking to run the CLI. So we wouldn't run it in here, so we're not gonna get any any debug activity if we just try and run it from within here. We need to run it in Visual Studio, and it needs to be inside that JavaScript debug uh, window that we opened, and we need to have npm run. Dev, P, 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 uh, execute it as well. Uh, so this means it's, it's running in memory, and then when we're back in VS Code, we can attach to that in memory version. Uh, so while that's installed, I'll come in here. So this is, we need to get back into this directory. We want to get back into Dev Astro Test, because that's where we've installed our, our um, website. So let's go back there, uh, Dev, see the Astro test. Cool. Um, we'll that off. Now, we're in the debug window. We need to run the CLI 
JavaScript file. So you need to find that. You need to have a look around in the project and, and get a little feeling for the, the code. Um, this is a turbo link. And so it's got workspaces in, in, in Astro. So I had a look around and in Astro. I could see the source here. And that, oh, there's a CLI folder. That's cool. And then index is normally the main entry point. So I'm hoping in index, if I scroll down, I should be able to put a breakpoint on something called add is what we're looking for. Oh, here we go. So add. So this is for the integrations I know we're going to be calling it. So I can just come into the, um, the side here and click on there to get a breakpoint. If it goes red solid, you're, you're good at least so far. Um, right. To run this, this file then, um, because we run this guy here, that TS has been compiled into a JS. So that would be, um, well, actually, no, we, no, we don't even need that because we're just going to run the Astro. It's already here, just an Astro JS. There's no compilation needed there. But the files that it calls have been compiled, so that will then work. Um, so I want to run this astro.js, and I'm over here at the moment, and I need to run it in Node. So I would do Node, and then I would, I would get back up and into the folder where I cloned this project to. So I know I'm in GitHub and Astro, and then I know I'm in Packages, Astro, and I want to call astro.js. Um, and now I can pass the parameters that I pass to the CLI. And in this case, I would be passing add and tailwind. Now, when I run this, I'm hoping did I, oh, I close that other file, did I? Let's go back into source and index, I'm gonna say over to the side. I don't need this one here, actually. So I just need this, just check that our breakpoint is still there. So there it is, that looks still pretty good. And um, when I run this now, we should hit that breakpoint and be able to step through it. So I kick that off, debugger attached, and look, there is our breakpoint. Uh, let me try and get this a little easier to see. Down. Yep. Keep that at least visible a little bit because it will show the output. All right, so now we can use F10 and step over this. Um, so it's gonna it's now gonna call add. We should see some output in the file below. Yep. So if I come down here now, all right. So we got resolved integrations, and it's starting to step through the process of adding Tailwind. So I can say yes to that. Um, I can say yes to this one. We'll get installed in dependencies. Again, stepping through again now, and then that will jump back out of the the, um, the call that we went into. So we're, we're again stepping through this. We can do F10, and it will now complete because that is its job done. Um, so, and then because this is running in the background as well, any changes we make in here will automatically be updated, and we could then just kick off that. That Astro JS was I in the way when I did that? Let me bring that up there. So this was the line that we would want to be calling. Um, so we call Node, get into the GitHub clone, call the CLI with a JS extension, and then it's its properties on the end there as well. Um, and there you go. You can step through the project and make any changes, hopefully, and create a PR. It all looks good. Uh, there you go. So debugging CLIs, Visual Studio. I uh, hope that was interesting. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, thumbs down if not. Uh, thanks for watching though, and catch you next time. Bye.